no clue what I'm doing here. But we're gonna try and mix it up. I think I've, from what I've read, it's about roughly usually about an 80-20 mix, I think, of paint to thinner. So I didn't really get much clear directions on the custom paint. I guess it's not really, you don't really know. Just kind of follow the instructions or whatever the gun says. You might be wondering why we're starting off like this. There is a whole video that leads up to this point here where we started doing all the taping, the prep work. Yeah. We're gonna mix that up. And the original spray painting that led us up to the point where we ended up buying a whole gallon and now we're gonna repaint the whole machine. Check out that video, get up to date, and come back and join us. I do the diggers and that's Andrew right there as you know, doing some spray paint on the big machine. After going through a half a gallon more of paint, we did another full one layer on everything on the machine. So I even covered up this part here. Did one here? I just did one coat. That was all pretty good. I was just at this point just to match. Um, did another layer on the bottom. I started here and a little bit of overspray. The spray gun is very hard to uh, control. It's not exactly the best. Sometimes it'll just be going, and next thing it's gets out a bunch. But did another final pass on the bottom. I think I just got that now. Um, anyway, yeah, not bad. Did uh, went across these both of these panels once at the top as well. Did another layer on here, another layer on the bottom. So we got that all done. Yeah, did everything. The only thing I might still do is might I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know. I might do this front step. Definitely not going to get involved in that. Um, I think I'm going <laughs> to cut it there. Did another layer on the front here and all the way up to there. So we got all that done all the way around. And overall, you know what? I haven't pulled off all the tape and everything yet, but I think uh, I think it looks pretty good. So if you want to spray paint the whole machine, the gallon would have been enough. I still have half a gallon left, so or more. I don't know, probably at least about half a gallon left. So if you do want to do the whole machine, like I think you can get one gallon of paint, and it should be okay to probably do everything with like two layers. Uh, if you just want to touch up the back, three spray cans will for sure do just the back if you need that and some touch-ups but obviously i ended up kind of wanting to do the whole thing after i got committed colors weren't matching so anyway happy with that we're going to pull off the stickers and then we're going to try and do some of these black areas we're going to try and touch up as well and maybe the red pinstripe i'm not going to go too fancy i was going to order the decals but i think i'm just going to go over it with some black paint or a black marker and some finer sparts and uh same with the red make it pop a little bit and then i think we're good i'm a youtuber yeah YouTuber over here. <laughs> yeah. Fast forward to the next day in the morning. You hear the birds chirping. <laughs> and we're here after pulling everything off. The paint looks not too bad. I know I had some overspray and a few little spots. Other than that, it looks pretty good. You know what, pretty happy with how, it, uh, how this kind of all came out. Everything looks nice and fresh. I still want to get the black done. So now what I'm going to do is take that sander, because there's a lot of roughness here from had a guy that once let go of the machine who was rubbing it up against a shipping container to load two or three loads of fill on the site. And that was my mistake of letting him use the machine. <laughs> and I got back and he had been rubbing the back up against a, a shipping container. And that's what really did a lot of this, a lot of this damage and the marks that were up here. There was basically up and down the whole thing. He was just gnawing this thing against the shipping container. Absolutely drove me berserk. But anyways, it is what it is. My fault for letting him use it. Um, and there's obviously marks from our guys over the years and probably some from myself on there as well So it happens, but now what we're gonna do is gonna shave all this stuff uh, The ones that got ripped from that shipping container <laughs> uh, 
all this extra rub here. Get some of it off with the sander, just leave it a little bit smoother, and then we're just gonna try and paint the back here. And here I think I'm just gonna try and do some touch-ups. I don't think I'm gonna start painting all this either. Got a little black marker, I'm just gonna try and touch it up with that. I'm just gonna blow off any remaining stuff on here. Got it all taped up. So I got some black uh, high gloss spray paint. I figured this was kind of glossy as the uh, the label. So just gonna shake this up well. And I'm just gonna probably do two, two, three coats on here. Yeah, see how it goes. So. So we're going to give that about an hour, half hour, hour, whatever, and then we'll, uh, we'll be back to do some more. Do another coat on there. Okay, we're going to start our second coat. Uh, so I also got a pack of these little Sharpie marker things with a really thick pointed tip. So I'm going to use this just to go over some of the stuff where I'm not going to bother taping up and painting. Like I can just go over the letters with this really thick pen. And uh, I've also ordered some red ones that are supposed to be coming tomorrow. So okay, I'm going to have to, uh, this is trickier than it seems. I'm going to rest my hand here. I'm going outside the lines. Looks better. You can kind of see the difference there from where I just went over and where I haven't gone over. It'll look like that or it can look like that. So I don't know. I figured it might be a little tedious, but by the time I'm going to spend trying to tape this all and do this without getting spray paint all over the place, I can just go over the marker and honestly fill in even just some of these lines. At least it makes it look better and cleaner. That is pretty darn good. Considering that was just done with a marker, that is pretty, pretty good. Very quick, took about maybe 10, 15 minutes to meticulously go over all of it. And I think for the time I spent on it and what the markers cost, you can get a couple of these for, I don't know, 20 bucks, you can get a pack of them. That's pretty good, very impressed with how that came out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more layer of paint on the back here and we'll see how we're looking. Okay, so gone over this side once with the marker. It's already looking a lot better than what it was looking like before. I know you can see a little streaks here, especially this side in particular is really scratched up. So I think I'm going to go through all these deep scratches at least another one time, kind of go over it all. But you can see here like that scratch used to go right across. And now when you step back, it's virtually gone. So obviously you come right up, you can see, but that's how much of a difference just going over with the marker. Now, I don't know how long this is going to hold on. If it lasts a year or two, I think it's a pretty easy, cheap fix. Do it once or twice a year. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long it lasts. Maybe it won't last that long. I don't know. We're going to find out. Either way, it didn't cost too much to, to try it and see. And it's a lot easier than having to tape everything up here. And to do the painting would be a big pain to tape all this off. So I just figured, whatever, go through it with the marker and be done with it. So I got four coats of paint on the back. And we're going to go ahead and pull this tape off now.
Okay, so not bad. We did have a little bit of bleeding, which kind of sucks. A little bit of uh, black got through in some areas here. Wonder if I can probably still rub that off. But other than that, it's pretty good. Did a pretty good job. And try and go through some of those spots, like on either side, especially these parts. I guess it was a little bit folded, and because the vinyl still is under here, putting the tape on here sometimes left a little bit of a weird gap in some areas. And it did seep through a little bit, but not not a big deal. Nothing you can really notice. Uh, but man, that looks looking sharp. Now, once we do that red line, we're basically there. We're back to square one, brand new. Um, so just a fun fact, today is the day of the eclipse. That's why it's so dark outside. Today is April the 8th, 2024. So pretty dark right now. I think the eclipse is actually happening, even though it's kind of overcast, but can't really see anything. And we're not supposed to look at it, so we won't do that, but I don't really see the sun anyways. Voila! So there we have it. Looking pretty spiffy with all the red painted in now. You know what? There's obviously uh, a few spots if you look really close, but damn, from about 10, 15 feet away, <laughs> honestly, she looks brand spanking new. I'm really happy with that, how that turned out, considering. Um, yeah, I just went over all this with basically markers. You could obviously do a bunch of taping, do the red, and then tape more, do the black, and then tape more, do the gray, and what, whatever order you want to do it in. But I just found this a big pain, so I just taped that to do all the gray, because the gray is obviously the part I was going to spray paint, um, get actual paint in. But the labels, you know what? They're not perfect, but it's a very easy, cheap fix for like 20 bucks worth of markers for you to do all the black and red. And it looks pretty sharp. I might still go over it with one other layer. Obviously, if you get really close, you can start seeing a little bit of swoosh marks. But like I said, once you step back, looks pretty good. Um, and uh, yeah, but it's a little bit wet. So when I'm going over, it's not uh, it's not actually dry enough yet for the red. The black came out pretty good, though. If you look really close, again, same thing, like very microscopically, like we were within two, three feet looking at it. You can see a few little marks, but that's nothing. I'm not worried about that. The machine looks immaculate considering what it looked like before. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. Just clean it up, make it look basically almost brand new again. No obvious marks on it. And yeah, so there you go. If you want to do the whole machine like I did, I think you should definitely get one gallon of the paint. Um, that should do the whole machine. Obviously, I started with the three spray cans. Mistake of mine because I was just going to do the back. But <laughs> I started getting committed to the whole thing. Um, yeah, if you want to do all that, about a gallon of spray paint, you should be able to definitely do that. If you want to get a set of the stickers, I think it's about five or six hundred bucks. So I don't know. I spent about twenty on markers, so whatever. If it only lasts a year or two, I'll just remarker it. Take a couple hours and remarker it next year. Whatever. Not too worried about it. But for now, it looks really sharp. So yeah, that's it. That's the whole repainting there. Everything but obviously the cab and the boom, but everything else has been fully repainted on the link belt. And uh, hope you enjoy watching that. And uh, let's get this thing to work. So if you're new here, subscribe. Don't forget to give the video a like. And once again, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.